Ohio football was rolling into Muncie, Indiana. Winners of five straight and up 17 to three over the Cardinals. That was until disaster struck. With 33 seconds left in the first half, quarterback Curtis Rourke went down with a right knee injury. Flash forward 20 minutes before kickoff a week later, and the nation's ninth leading passer was sidelined for the remainder of the 2022 season. So in steps redshirt sophomore CJ Harris to try and lead the Bobcats to their first MAC title since 2016 in a win or go home game against the Bowling Green Falcons in his collegiate debut. Harris admitted the early struggles with back-to-back -back three and outs were due in large part with the nerves on the big stage. First start nerves, you know, it was, it kind of came out in a little bit something different, but you know, we, we just knew that we had to buckle down and do what we did best. But once Harris completed this pass to Miles Cross, the young quarterback started dealing. Head coach Tim Alvin said it was his biggest completion of the night. That throw, I said, okay, we're going, and we had the punt. Well, I said, okay, we're going to be, we're going to be okay, because that was a big throw now. Harris found his footing, fittingly enough, on the ground, rushing for 65 yards and three touchdowns. Through the air, Harris wasn't too shabby either, going 10 for 21 for 196 yards and a touchdown. But not too far away from Turkey Day, Harris says he was thankful for the performance his defense turned in. I'm thankful for the defense, for sure. <laughs> they, 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 they balled out today, so. Those wise words from Harris go far beyond his experience on the field. And for an offensive guy like himself, head coach Tim Alvin liked that answer a lot. That's a really good answer by CJ, you know, and uh, running game's good too. But, but uh, I just, the team, again, the, 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 how we feed off each other and the, how they look at each other. You know, I know I said that earlier, but it, it, is, it is so powerful. That defense forced three turnovers with the two sides of the ball dominating all night. In the end, the Bobcats pulled off a 38-14 victory to continue Ohio's improbable run in the MAC with a trip to Detroit now on the calendar. We're going to Detroit, baby. For Bobcat Showcase, see y'all in Detroit. We gonna see y'all in that ring. I made him Crowley. We're not losing on the Frank, man. We told y'all that. <laughs>